man, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here with Ryan Rigg, the homie man. We've been getting on him lately, and we're trying to do the same thing again today, y'all. It is 6:12 in the afternoon, 95 degrees out here in Dallas, Texas, and we got the kayaks behind us. Uh, tell them a little bit about the spot, man, that you're taking me to, because it's it's all his idea, this place. All right, so this is a very urban location here in Dallas. Not gonna get too specific. It's just a little clear water runoff behind some apartments. Uh, it's covered in mat, uh, uh, grass mats and uh, looks thick, dude. It, it's a real good frog area, so we're starting to uh, make a little even of it, pull out some frogs, and test the waters. Speaking of testing, we're gonna be testing out the popping. Did you bring the popping? Brought them. So we're Brought gonna be working man. on some of these new Guggen Squad popping frogs. We'll probably throw a handful. We might need the little walkers, but uh, yeah, looks juicy, man. Let's start fishing. Oh, this is much more clear than I thought. Y'all, Ryan is telling me he has really good luck on a frog that has a very similar colored belly to this, almost like brown. So I'm rocking the bullfrog pattern. I'm going with the walking one for now. I'm bust out that popping one here in a minute, maybe even switch to that Yoziri top water, which I won't be able to get into the grass and the thick stuff like I'd like, but it's just a, an, another fun top water to throw this evening. So we might be switching things up throughout the night unless this just gets major hits. I don't know how effective the autopilot's motor is gonna be tonight given the grass here. It's like so thick, I might just be paddling everywhere, which is fine, but we've got it in case we wanna make like a, a long trek down this place. It looks like somewhere in the middle, you could probably uh, get away with the motor. Yep, we're just going for it sitting sideways oh my god it's clear this is so sick okay it's looking like i can deploy the motor oh there went a little something there goes my glide bait i'm probably gonna be throwing tonight you guys as well this is the molex 178 glide bait think feel fish man i'm actually pretty pumped to probably uh probably break this out and try this here in a little bit as well all right guys we're already seeing fish jump out here in the middle first few cast guys this is the guggen squad filthy frog there's gar in here, huh? Yeah, I just well, I just saw what looked like a gar swimming down. Do you usually go this way or that way? So Ryan is kind of fishing the side. That would be tough to hit from the bank. Definitely a strong tactic. I'm over here kind of working the shade a little bit, seeing if it makes any difference. I know he's told me he's had some great luck on this side. Just curious what we might see. There was a little blow up in the back corner here. Got him. Oh no, I just got hit. Oh no. I was letting the chatterbait just like sink. It was almost like a jig hit. All right, we worked all the way back to this corner. We may cut it the other direction, y'all. This motor has done surprisingly well through here though. I've just been cutting right through the grass. All right, Ryan just had his first bite, y'all. I'm curious, I'm going to, uh, he's thinking maybe it was a gar. I've still got the frog tied on and I'm not untying it, but I want to throw this big glide bait and see if I can get some hits on this thing given the clear water scenario right here. Check this out, man. Slow sink. 178 so it's got it's got soft fins i mean they're they're not really soft but like they you can bend them <laughs> like this one on top that's you know they're, they're soft fins again beefy treble hooks spin 360 degrees good for when they're thrashing instead of using the leverage of the weight to throw the bait they've still got it in their mouth and can use it but less because these things spin at 360 degrees now also it appears to me that the front treble hook is larger than the rear treble hook and it probably has to do a little bit with balance of the bait so if you switch the treble hooks out on this bait you need to i would assume switch out the front and the rear to get a consistent fall with how this thing is made but what does it say man a step forward in the glide baits wonder world it's a realistic and authentic bait molded from an of mother sand. this is like definitely not this was like translated to english it's a realistic and authentic baits molded from an hand carved but can get erratic and dart up and down with a jerking retrieve so it says it produces a realistic curve action when slow retrieved but can get erratic and dart up down back with a jerking retrieve so up down back i mean that's that that's all you could ask for right the molex glide bait is fitted with two swiveling ultra sharp treble hooks to resist with the most big bass fighting so again another line that makes little sense this is the glides you need to have for the big bass hunting yeah think feel fish that makes a lot of sense i like this i'm just gonna read that to you guys the thing looks dope we're gonna see if it catches some fish on a night where they haven't been biting much which uh it's so funny i just get these comments Oh yeah, those stock ponds are easy fishing. Oh yeah, those ponds are easy. Well, we're in a little canal here where he says the bite's normally on and uh, look at us go. I mean, it's so funny. People are quick to chime in when you don't catch many fish and yet I'm out here every single day fishing, catching plenty and missing plenty. There's good days and there's bad days. So don't feel bad if you go out and don't catch fish. Trust me, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, but you will have those days where you catch 10, 20, 30, 40 fish, and those are the ones that make it all worth it, man. Let me get this thing tied on. I'm going straight braid today just because it happens to be the rod I, I've got uh, ready. So let's get this thing rigged. 
Palomar not moss green braid, so it should blend in perfectly with all this mossy grass. We're gonna see how it fishes. This is brand new off Carl's Bait and Tackle, by the way, guys. So if you guys want to pick this up and save 30% on all your baits and tackle, just go ahead and check the link in the description for Carl's. All right, it's got, it's, that's a slow sink. Sweet. Initial impressions are, let me just hit it with the slow retrieve. Oh, okay, yeah, she's monstrous. Now let me hit it with a little bit of a twitch. I need to kind of cast it further out. It's a little bit more accurate representation. Oh, it kind of, it almost does do a little nose dive. Yeah, so I'm definitely a fan of the slow retrieve so far with maybe just like the occasional twitch or pop, but we'll see as I work it through the night. Now, where I'm gonna be able to throw this is quite limiting with these treble hooks and all this moss on the surface. But what I'm gonna try and do is get it right along the edge, the outskirt edge of the grass where we've been seeing a lot of bass popping up. You can get, see, just like that, right here on the outside edge, there's a bass that just blew up and, uh, and see if we can't work some magic with this slow sinking sucker right here long casts are definitely going to be your friend i just do that one out right here real fast i wonder if i can get back in here with this thing i mean i don't really care if i get in some grass i've got the braid and a lot of this stuff is just on the surface but then right below it there's actually some uh manageable water to bring this through let me just i'm just gonna throw it over here oh my gosh look at that i could see a big bass hitting that thing okay see we got some we got some grass there. This glide bait, man, I'm, I'm digging it. Let's just give this thing a chunk right down the middle. By the way, you guys are gonna want a heavy rod. This is a 7.6 mag medium heavy fast action. That's a Powell endurance rod, and it's rated for lures up to three ounces. And this bait is 2.5 ounces. I didn't really cover all the specs with you guys, but it's 2.5 ounces. And the color, I believe is AO, it's a Ghost AU. Yeah, Ghost AU, that's A-Y-U. I must be pretty low at this moment after all that reading to you guys. Oh no, I'm like just subsurface. Okay, so this thing is like an extra slow sink. I mean, I, I highly doubt you spend the money on this thing. You got to worry about losing it too much, especially if you're fishing from a yak. Now, if you're bank fishing, you could get this into a sticky situation and not be able to run and retrieve it, but you just had one. All right, guys, Ryan just had a blow up. So I'm switching over to the white bellied popping frog. Also, I've pointed this out once or twice before, but I leave some knots on the frog sometimes and kind of push, push them all towards the bottom. And what, and what that'll happen is whenever you tie on your knot, geez, there's trains and planes around here. Come on, man, I just need some good audio. I, I leave the knots on the frog and they go to the bottom. And that way, whenever I tie my knot, the line doesn't go to the bottom and start pulling your frog down because those knots are in the way. So that's, that's the point. Take this guy, for example. He's got a few knots tied on him. And I just push those to the bottom and then I tie my next knot. That way it never gets pushed down. Setting this up fast, maybe I can get a train shot. Alright y'all, another awesome day out fishing with Ryan Rigged. Man, guys, go check him out. Go check him out. I've got him linked down in the description. He took me in one of his honey holes tonight. Unfortunately, we didn't have much luck as you've seen, but we got to throw some new baits. The poppin' frogs, man, new to the market. He missed a handful of blow-ups. I missed one fish, really. And then also we got to test out those new glide baits. Actually, we have a couple more. I'm just gonna show you that. So I'm gonna show you, we got a few more new glide baits to showcase on the channel coming up very soon. Devin and I might do a little showdown between the two of them. We'll probably see you guys tomorrow, man. I'm trying to do these one a days for y'all. I've missed maybe two or three days now in the last 120 uploads or, or whatever the case is. Zeke, are you trying to say hi to everyone? Oh, say hi. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, man, stay tuned.